Welcome back to Finding Path, the series where we build your favorite characters in Paizo's Pathfinder 2nd Edition using any of the books we can get our hands on. This includes the Advanced Player's Guide now, so yay! We have a few rules we'll be following with these builds, so be sure to check them out in the description. Today we're going to be building Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong's faithful sidekick and I could have sworn nephew, but he's just a nephew wannabe, whatever that is. Diddy Kong first appeared in Donkey Kong Country, and now appears alongside Donkey Kong in a plethora of DK and Mario games alike. Diddy Kong is an interesting character to build, because we have so many options and different games to pull inspiration from, and a lot of abilities that will be fun to try to replicate in Pathfinder. First, let's set up some goals for playing him. During combat encounters, Diddy has three options. Though he's not a hand-to-hand -hand expert, he does have the ability to fight using only his monkey reflexes, especially with the use of his tail. He's also proficient with his peanut pop guns, being able to dual wield them with deadly accuracy. Finally, though not necessarily him, Diddy Kong can always call on his best friend Donkey Kong to do a lot of the big fighting. During social encounters, well, he's a monkey. I don't really know what you expect here. He has a lot of knowledge of his home in the jungle and the ability to survive crazy different ecosystems, but He's just monkey. While adventuring, Diddy can help provide food for his team by scavenging, or be on the lookout for surprise attacks. As an animal, he can also lead his team through otherwise treacherous paths in the jungle. He's also a great climber and swimmer. In downtime, he mostly just relaxes, watches TV, and hangs out with Donkey Kong. So he's a little more lax when it comes to days off. However, if he needs money, he could always make you smile as he plays his tune. Come on, Donkey Kong 64 is one of my favorite games. I'm not gonna forget the guitar. After thinking about it for a little bit and going over our goals, it's pretty obvious. Diddy is a ranger. So here's our level 20 character sheet for Diddy. Let's go over some decisions I've made. If you want to follow along, as always, the PDF is in the description. Starting with stats, I prioritized in this order. Dexterity, Wisdom, Strength and Constitution, Charisma, and then we dump Intelligence. Dexterity is Diddy's greatest skill, which will allow him to deal damage, dodge damage, move acrobatically, and stay balanced. Wisdom is useful for will saves, though we're primarily taking it for skills, especially nature and survival. And Perception. Constitution is a bit more important than Strength. Diddy can take a lot of hits for a little guy, but strength is used for physical attacks and athletics. Charisma can be left as is, it's just not needed for this build. And intelligence will again be dumped. Diddy is smart for an animal, but he's still just an animal. In fact, you can even take a flaw in charisma and intelligence to gain an extra boost elsewhere. When using ability points, you can just stick to upgrading dexterity, wisdom, strength, and constitution. For ancestry, in my infinite wisdom, I made Diddy a goblin. Small, twitchy, not as bright as you'd hope, they're a perfect fit for Diddy. For heritage, yeah. Tail Goblin is an obvious choice. This will let you take some feats to start hitting people who get close to you with your tail. Though technically you're not a monkey goblin, you're a descendant that happens to have a tail. That's lame, so just ask your DM if you can be monkey. You can also speak goblin and equate it to monkey chittering. Just make sure your table is okay with you not speaking common all the time. Some people will be cool with it, but yeah, maybe not. I guess you can just be like animated Diddy Kong. Sheesh, what a goon. Oh, I can't watch this. For background, the new feral child from the APG fits perfectly. Raised by the Kongs, you gain trained proficiency in nature and survival, the imprecise scent sense, and the forager skill feat. Because you're a goblin, you also gain dark vision. There should be enough caves in the DK Isles to make it worth it. Next up, some skills we need to work on. Acrobatics. That's like, the big one. No one can zip and flip around the battlefield without being legendary. Survival in nature will also be important, allowing Diddy to thrive in any environment. Because Feral Child and Ranger give us survival in nature, we get five other skills of our choice. Taking athletics was an easy choice, but boosting it to legendary might admittedly not be the right decision. But climbing, jumping, and swimming are integral to Diddy's games, so I agree with my initial decision. Performance is a must. Nothing is more important to me than Diddy's guitar, so we need to have it. This is non-negotiable. Stealth, thievery, and craft are the only skills that really make any lick of sense. Diddy's decks will allow him to be stealthy, monkeys are known to steal and craft for basic tools? I don't know man, I dumped intelligence so I wouldn't have to deal with this. As a ranger, we picked up feats to gain an animal companion, because we're getting our big boy Donkey Kong in here to help. He'll be a tough physical fighter who can intimidate foes to protect his little buddy. There's not much to talk about here, as animal companions are pretty straightforward once you pick what you want. So, Donkey Kong is an ape animal companion, this should be obvious, who will upgrade to savage with the bully trait when we get the chance. Finally, let's talk equipment. Guitar. That's it. Obviously, the most important one isn't actually a guitar, but you gotta pick it up. The closest instrument I could find in the core rulebook is a lute, but feel free to just take any string instrument your DM allows. For weapons, there's no guns or peanut launchers in Pathfinder. Shame. So we're gonna use hand crossbows instead. You can choose to dual wield for authenticity, or take only one crossbow if you wanna be... you know... smart. There's really no reason to dual wield in Pathfinder 2e. 
but Diddy does in Donkey Kong 64, so we're gonna make him do that here too. For armor, Diddy is completely unarmored, but his high dex will make up for it. If you want that one extra armor class before you hit plus 5 dex, you can pick up a light armor of your choice. For magic items, there's really nothing specific I could find, Diddy's kind of all natural. But be on the lookout for runes to improve your armor class and weapons. If Pathfinder 2 comes out with a repeating crossbow like they did in Pathfinder 1, two of those would be ideal instead of dual wielding normal crossbows. Finally, we can't forget about Diddy's barrel jetpacks. If you can find any item that gives you the power of flight and flavor text it to barrels on your back, pick it up. It doesn't have to be permanent either. 60 crystal coconuts can translate to about 10 Pathfinder minutes, I would think. So, did we reach our goals? For combat encounters, I made Diddy a fast dual wielding crossbow slinger. I wrote slinger twice, why did I? I made Diddy a fast dual wielding crossbow slinger with a knack for staying away with a protective uncle that can keep threats at bay. Your goblin feats give Diddy all the monkey abilities he needs. Hard tail and tail spin give Diddy the power to use his powerful tail, I've said tail three times, to attack and trip enemies while your other hands are occupied with holding your hand crossbows. Cling will also allow you to get uncomfortably close to an enemy, much like Diddy's side B in Smash. Twitchy also gives you a lot of bonuses when ambushes and traps are involved. For class feats, let's get the obvious out of the way. Dual wielding crossbows is not good in Pathfinder. And we're taking two feats that could have been used elsewhere to make this build even possible. But this is for flavor, it's not min-maxing. The dual wielding warrior dedication nets you double slice for free, but it just doesn't do anything, as at no point does Diddy hold melee weapons in this build. Dual weapon reload, however, will allow us to reload one of our crossbows without having to put the other one down. And yikes, that is just really not good. I wish there was a feat that allowed us to reload both crossbows, but I can see that getting ridiculous, so I understand why. To make matters worse, dual weapon reload is an action, so it cannot be used in conjunction with running reload. Man, this... This build is not good. Though reloading isn't great, your crossbow skills are pretty good in the later half of the build. Feats like Hunter's Edge, Perfect Shot, and Deadly Aim allow you to do extra damage with your makeshift peanut poppers. The biggest issue here is that hand crossbows, by design, are not a great weapon. The crossbow ace does increase the die by one size in some circumstances, but you're monkey, you don't care about that. Speaking of monkey, though technically yes, he is an ape, Donkey Kong and feats surrounding him are probably the strongest part of Diddy's kit. We take just about every animal companion feat we can, improving Donkey Kong to be a savage bully that can stand between Diddy and the baddies. Masterful Companion allows you to share your Hunter's Edge ability, dealing extra precision damage, and Companion's Cry allows you to give DK an extra action if he would be more useful in some situations. For miscellaneous feats, Diddy has a lot of monkey-like skills like Combat Climber, Quick Jump, and Catfall to get to more enemies quickly, or just avoiding them entirely. Combat Climb especially would be useful, as you are a tailed goblin. Technically, if we're talking rules as written, you can now climb using only your legs and tail, and can continue to wield both weapons in hand. Now, let's talk about out of combat. In social encounters... Dude, you're monkey, I don't have anything. If characters really need help with nature and surviving in the wild, you can chime in on ideas and tips on how to stay safe. Other than that, you're a wild child monkey boy. You don't really have any social skills. If you ever need an intimidating character, however, Donkey Kong is a master, being a large ape and all. Just sick him on anyone who's trying to intimidate you and you'll have nothing to fear. While adventuring, Diddy will have a much easier time, however. An expert climber, swimmer, and survivalist, Diddy is a ranger everyone would want to have on their team to lead the way. Perception is also strong. Through sight and imprecise scent, you'll never be stuck up on. Though, if you are, Twitchy will make the enemies regret it. Lead Climber can also help the team get through climbing sections of dungeons or adventures. And finally, in downtime, the guitar, baby! Like I said, Diddy Kong doesn't do much in downtime. He just likes to chill and eat. But if money is necessary, scavenging for food for the team, playing guitar for money, or helping an apothecary and gather ingredients for their shop are all great options to spend time to. So, yeah. I'd say we met and exceeded most of our goals. Diddy just isn't the strongest type of ranger you'll see in combat. Splitting the ranger tree between crossbow and animal companions, and wasting two level feats just so you can reload one of the weapons you're holding? It's not terrible, but there are definitely ways to improve this build. A melee weapon instead of the second crossbow is probably the ideal way. Out of combat, however, Diddy sounds like a lot of fun to play. A wild monkey goblin with a good heart who can survive the worst circumstances no matter where he is on the Kong Isles. Even if it's not powerful, it's definitely an interesting take on the wild man ranger trope. Just remember, though we say it is, the city is not a jungle. So it may be best to learn some manners when talking to the king. Or you can take out your guitar, play a sick rift, and call it a day. It won't actually force the king to release the slaves in the Colosseum, but maybe it's just enough of a distraction for the rogue to do something about it. Thanks for checking out my Pathfinder 2e Diddy Kong build. My Darius build was one of my most successful videos since I've been coming back to making real YouTube content, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. If you liked the video and want to appease the analytical gods with me, 
feel free to like, comment, and share the videos with friends. Next week, we're going to be taking a look at a thief that steals hearts, but it might not be exactly who you're expecting.